What are some tips for conversations with your crush? If still in school and you share a class, homework is always a great conversation starter. Then just let it flow on its own from there. No magic words. Be polite, be yourself, give a greeting and ask how she slash he is. For example, hi, how are you? That's simple and friendly. This may take you a few goes until a conversation starts. Every time you walk past them say that. If you stop all of a sudden you won't get anywhere. Try to talk to her when she slash he is not busy. If they are busy, she'll most unlikely cease to talk. If they are one of your classes at school, or in your school at least, or if they are at your work, neighborhood etc., they're all advantages. Consider them. The first conversations aren't supposed to be long at all, because you have just met and it'll avoid awkwardness. Sometimes first ones can be long but not always and it's good to keep them short. So there's nothing wrong with saying hi, how are you? Because you're being friendly. Try to start a conversation, ask relevant questions, like about the school if you're at school because that's way it's easy. Be yourself, that's the best thing that you can ever be, don't try to be something that your crush would want. If they don't like who you are, then they aren't who you are. Don't view your crush as a crush. Just talk to them as a friend, be nice, have a chat. If it ends up leading to a relationship, then you'll be happy, and if it doesn't, you'll still be happy because you have a friend now. My relationship with my crush turned girlfriend started like this. We started off talking mainly about school stuff, well we had half of our classes together that year we met and we were like a dynamic duo in chemistry class so it made sense for the basis of our conversation to be mainly about school. At some point we moved on to our personal lives, you know the basics like family, siblings, things we do outside of school, friends, etc. Then we started going into deeper conversation with discussion on taboo topics, things that define our personalities, and just topics that require a bit of thought. It's basically the formula for building any type of bond. Friendship or relationship. The common ground is always the first ingredient, and it's the ingredient that increases comfort the most. People love talking about themselves so try asking questions. Asking about what type of music they listen to is a good one because most people enjoy sharing their favorite song. It's sort of a win-win because they get to share some details about themselves and you get to learn more about them. First, focus on being honest and earning trust. Every relationship is based upon trust. Second, be your true and authentic self. As soon as someone believes that you are not who you claim to be it's over. Third, show the person that you sincerely care about them. Be someone who they know they can always rely on. Full disclosure, I am a grad school InfoSEC professor, and one of my main research and teaching domains is social engineering. How well do you know yourself? Do you have answers to the questions people are suggesting? Are there things you can show enthusiasm in? Any stories to share? Everyone says to listen, which is true, but don't make your crush carry the conversation. You can start with some questions or start with your excitement about something and let them be interested in you. I have a crush on a guy and at times I think there is interest back but now I'm questioning it because although he invests time in our conversations when we run into each other he never asks about me. He seems shy and introverted, but since I'm also shy and introverted it's hard not to read into it that he doesn't actually like me and is maybe just super polite. Try not to worry about what they'll think of you, they're too busy worrying what you'll notice about them to focus on things that might seem like a huge deal to you. Be real, don't try to be what you think they want. Be an active listener, make eye contact and give them your undivided attention. Ask questions. That really lets them know you care and are interested in what they have to say. Sometimes it helps me to think about the worst case, if they're not interested, they let you know hopefully politely, and you both move along. That's it. No apocalyptic scenarios, 
just two people going on about their lives. Hopefully that will help keep things in perspective. Good luck! Casually ask them for recommendations on something. Say you need a new show or movie to watch is an easy one. People like talking about things they're interested in like that, and it'll help you find common ground. Most importantly, follow up on their recommendations. Show, movie, whatever, even if it's something you might not normally watch. Who knows it might be your new favorite too, and it might help you understand them a bit better and you can talk to them about it later. They'll appreciate that you actually listened and took their advice. Just remember that the anxiety you feel is completely normal. Anyone who doesn't admit to feeling that way at some point is a liar or sociopath. Don't put too much pressure on the conversation, you don't want to come across like a desperate salesman. As long as you don't interrogate, you'll be fine. A good way to avoid interrogating your crush is by asking open-ended questions and giving them room to roam with their answers. Also, don't be afraid to look for a place to connect over a shared like or experience. I used to be quite shy too. I froze up around girls that I thought were cute. What I learned is to fake confidence. Start with somebody that isn't your crush and go up to them with the intent to have a conversation with them and to get to know them. Have something in mind to talk about when you go up to them that they will be interested in. Usually it's as easy as just asking them what they think about a current event. You'll learn that almost all people are open to a friendly conversation. Once you are calm and doing that, do it with your crush. Then if it goes well, keep doing it and then maybe invite them to do something simple with you. If the goal is to start dating them, my tip is give up on subtlety and tell them you like them. Unless you have never talked to them before, then you should have at least two or three conversations first. Everyone I've ever been with has appreciated that I don't keep them guessing, and yet I've gotten rejected at times but mostly it works. Once you start dating, conversation starters could be, what is their hometown like, what music do they listen to slash movies they watch, plans for the summer, etc. Treat them like a person, this is critically important. Don't put your crush on a super high pedestal and just treat them like a friend you are more open to sharing with. This can help in the long run because not only will it make them more likely to spend time with you, because people like spending time with friends, but it will also allow you to open up the door for a more natural flirting and perhaps change any neutral or even negative opinions on you into positives. Learn to read body language. If someone is closing themselves off to you physically or seems to be wanting to get away, stop what you are doing and give them their space. If you follow them on any socials, pay attention to what they post on their story slash what they find funny and keep it in mind when you talk to them. This can make it easier to make them laugh, because you have an idea of what type of humor they have or things that they like. Get out of your head. You don't need to come up with the wittiest and funniest responses. The things you are thinking about and wanting to ask or talk about are fine. Overthinking about the topics we want to talk about is what causes people to go stupid when talking to their crush. Take it from me a person who constantly overthinks when talking to his crush. If you are going to compliment her appearance, compliment some specific aspect of her appearance that she has control over, hairstyle, manicure, outfit, etc. Things like you're beautiful are vague and unoriginal, and complimenting body parts can easily cross the line into creepy slash uncomfortable. Studies show saying a person's name during conversation produces a small increase in dopamine levels. Saying someone's name when you're talking to them is actually good for getting all types of people to like you, not just love interests. Flirting with a woman while she's at work is a generally bad idea. She has an obligation to remain professional, and will often feel like she has to be nice and smile at you. These cues are usually mistaken as interest, and the flirting swiftly becomes plain creepy. Don't use any of the wait three days to contact her rules. If you want to text her, text her. If you just had a nice date, 
send her a quick follow-up and say how much you enjoyed it. I'm not saying contact her non-stop if she isn't replying or doesn't seem into it. Just don't feel like you have to play games about how long you have to wait to reach out. Don't stand super close to me. If I'm interested I will move closer. If I'm not, and you're all up in my space, I'll find you creepy and the interaction uncomfortable. For me personally, my now boyfriend and I were friends for about a year before we began our relationship, obligatory congrats to my boyfriend for fighting his way out of the friend zone. I was never the type to chat someone up at a bar or whatever. A lot of girls will feel more comfortable with guys they already have spent a decent amount of time with. Put in the time and effort boys, and you might get the girl of your dreams. Side note, if she touches her hair a lot whilst you are interacting, it's a very promising sign that she likes you. There are a bunch of candid photos of boyfriend and I before we started dating and I'm touching my hair unconsciously in almost every single one. I always think of be confident enough to be awkward. Many people can lie in order to put themselves above everyone else, but that's not attractive. Sometimes, laughing at your mistakes is the best thing, it actually makes you look more confident than acting as if you were never wrong. Just dance, laugh and talk without worrying if you'll look ridiculous, you won't.